Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kutu Loops. All right, so in the last episode, we ended things off in the middle of our uh, raiding of Rome. Actually, it seems that we had just finished raiding Rome. Um, so what I'm going to do now is... I don't know if it's really necessary for me to follow the Pope's armies. And besides, I think we might be taking attrition if we do follow him. Not if we do this, though. So let's get three stacks over to Aprutium and then back into Rome so that we're not uh, ransacking uh, Lombardy. Although maybe we should be. Um, and then afterwards, we'll get everyone together, go into uh, Venice, um, you know, uh, what's it, raid that. And then after all the raiding is said and done, I think we will actually go to war with the Mullahabid, try to gain the Duchy of Kyrenaica. And then possibly even go after the Kingdom of Egypt, Nubia, Abyssinia, etc, etc. Might be a little ambitious, but um, could be worth it, I don't know. It would of course result in a gigantic empire of Mali, which sounds really nice to me. I don't know about you guys. Unfortunately, we did not manage to capture the Pope this time. Not this time. And uh, sure, let's see if we can convert Miwino to being secretly Shia. In the meantime, Miwino, we will have you become intrigue focused. And Tella, it can also be intrigue focused. And it turns out that Miwino is a little resistant to uh, becoming Shia or secretly Shia. That's fine with me. Whoa, there appears to be a rebellion happening in Lombardy. Nice, very nice. Wait a minute. Wait. This guy's heir is the Empire of Francia? Holy shit. This guy needs to die. He seriously needs to die. Holy crap. And it appears that Gerger is dead. But not before giving birth to a... Andalusian. What? What about your siblings? Oh no. Your siblings, okay, except for Bjorn here, they've all turned Andalusian. Why? That's why. The daddy -o is Andalusian. Unacceptable, man. Why would you give away your bare heritage? Unbearable. Absolutely unbearable. Oh well. Rumor has it that your son Miwino has been influenced by his guardian Splendor. It is said that Miwino is now considered properly bare. Oh my god, it's happening, guys. It's happening. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> we might actually be able to pull it off. We might actually be able to have a bear pirate uh, dynasty. That would be awesome. And speaking of which, I've actually done some testing off camera. And it turns out that um, if you can raid neighboring infidels uh, for loot, um, you can actually raid overseas as well. Although, I don't know why it doesn't specifically spe specifically say that. Like, for the Berbers and for the Norse, I believe. It says, um, can raid, uh, infidel neighbors for... Was it Norse? Oh, yeah, you, you can raid overseas with ships. I think you can do that regardless of whether or not um, it actually specifies that. I think if you can raid can basically just raid overseas with ships anyways. Um, or at least from my testing, it seems like that's the case. But anyways, I could be wrong. Uh, now that you've converted Mzab, go, at, go ahead to Uled Nail. And uh, try to find something that can help me uh, speak properly. Because I appear to have lost all my uh, speaking faculties. And I've inherited the Walia of Tiznit. Where is that? Ah, that's what it was. Really? You didn't manage to um, upgrade any of this? What a sack of shit. Alright, fine. I'll go ahead and upgrade the uh, castle town. Actually, I think I'll try to reclaim Marrakesh. Um, going back in, through the old footage, um, or the past episodes, I think I accidentally gave this guy a uh, the holding, or the county, uh, for money or whatever. So, uh, oops, my bad. Alright, in the meantime, uh, if you can please speed up the raiding and looting, that would be great. 
Not that we really need the money, but it would be poor form for pirates to just give up their raiding in the middle of, uh, well, you know, pirating just because we have enough money. Because it's not always about the money. Fedada. Named after Fedada. No, how about Baria? There you go, Baria. Alright, in the meantime, I will go ahead and start upgrading our... Mmm, let's go with our trade posts. I think that might be better. We'll go with the merchant ports this time. Uh, merchant enclave will obviously take precedence, but if we can get the... If we already have the up, fully upgraded merchant enclave, we'll go ahead with the merchant port instead. Unless I start to run out of money, which I think is not going to happen for a little while. Nice! This place is like almost fully completed or almost fully, uh... Upgraded. I didn't know that Garrison actually increased your retinue size. Interesting. Well, we'll leave that for a bit. Um, I don't think it's really necessary for me to upgrade that just yet. That's all of them? Wow. Holy crap. Them's a lot of stuffs. And we can also upgrade our Threepwood Manor. Let's go ahead and upgrade our... Map. Nope, nope. Mil uh, military warehouse. There we go. And I still have about 1,700 ducats left over. Holy crap. Feels great to be rich. Speaking of which, the hospital in Canarius has seen an increase in the amount of people looking for food and shelter lately. It can barely provide the food required as it is. Perhaps this could be a good opportunity to make an impression. Sure, let's do it. Alms and other supplies have been brought to the hospital. It will make the life much easier for those in need. The question now is how to present this extraordinary gift. And I'm already zealous, which is why we can't do... Th or doing this would give us no other uh, uh, thing. Uh, let's go with the realm provided this offering. Or... Hmm, I could do that. And then that'll increase my general opinion. But I think I'll go with this instead. Increase my vassal opinion for... Five years. Nice. Let's do that. And apparently... Great. So just one more holding left in um, Venice. Someone is dead. Fantastic. And we'll go ahead and ask this uh, lady for money. She appears to be wearing a wig of some kind. Either that or some sort of like hairy monster is eating her head. It seems very ill-fitting for her uh, head, is what I'm trying to see here. Right, so I think Venice has been completely looted. And... This guy has about 6,000 troops, so I think it might be okay for us to just... Try raiding his uh, lands, too. So let's get uh, two stacks down there. Lombardy actually doesn't have a lot of troops, either. Might be a good idea for me to... Merchant Port. Fantastic. Yeah, let's actually get, um... Try to be more efficient with our little rating here. There we go. But if you guys see the enemies coming towards you... Oh shit, like this. We should probably move them. But... I think we've got the advantage here. Not only do we have the number advantage, but we also have the terrain advantage. So this guy's just gonna, uh... Throw his uh, troops to the wolves. Which works for me. I mean, I'd like to avoid a fight if I can uh, manage it, but if not, oh well. Not that big of a deal. Right, apparently people are trying to kill me. Probably because I'm such an amazing pirate. And we've managed to um, kidnap this guy, or not really kidnap, but imprison this guy. Um, have we worshipped the ancestors recently? We have. Well, that's not good. Damn it. Oh well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and recruit a court physician. I didn't realize that I didn't have one. What the hell? Version port, fantastic. And we are actually getting fairly close. My, pri uh, my prisoners... Wait, my prisoner, Patrician Azreg's spouse, Duria, sent me a letter insisting I would meet her in, the, in her keep. She asked me to show her or show mercy and release her spouse for a hefty sum of money she obviously does not have. So, I can say this is not negotiable. I can gain 1,926.6 gold. Holy shit. Or I could throw her into the prison. 
Or I could say no more letters? Where's the um, option for me to execute or two? Oh, if I do this, I just straight up execute this guy. Or I could gain like a thousand nine hundred something ducats. Let's go with that. This guy doesn't even like hate me for it. <laughs> I mean, he's not happy that I imprisoned him at one point, but it uh, doesn't seem all that uh, perturbed. Your rangers report of a suspected witch living in the outskirts of the realm. They have never been able to prove that the woman practices sorcery. Although the villagers do not trust her, she is willing to put her medical mixology skills to good use in your court and offers to become your physician in exchange for naught but a small vial of your blood. A most strange offer. Um... I mean... Maybe? Now, who else in my realm can become a court physician? We actually have some decent uh, options here. Looks like this guy is actually a renowned physician. So we could go with him or we could go with someone who's really learned. Um, hmm. And her learning is not that great. So how about we just tell her to bugger off. You ain't getting my blood. And then we'll just go with our Lord Mayor Malik of Serta as our court physician because his learning is amazing. In the meantime... Let's have you guys start raiding in Padua, uh, Padua. Fantastic. Sweet. Castle town built in Tiznit. And then let's have you guys move on to the other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, how about you go there instead? That should be still within our uh, range. Our concubine is pregnant. I'm paranoid as shit. How close are we to fulfilling that? Eh, decently close, but not super. Let's actually start raiding the Byzantines. Might not be the best idea, but we'll do it anyways. I am nothing if not full of bad ideas, right? I thought it over and I cannot be the father of my concubine Giselle's baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. If you insist, and we've managed to imprison this guy with the most feminine, uh, effeminate hair ever. Nice. Alright, let's have you guys move on into... Sweet, I guess we've managed to groom an heir. When did that happen? Oh, Kenny Falmouth? Really? Really? You think Kenny Falmouth is your heir? Absolutely not. Not with that hair. He's not. Wait, how is his hair? I didn't actually see. Um, let's see if we can ransom this guy. Or, you know what? How about we keep him in there for now? The maid I hired to gain my concubine Giselle's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Lay a trap for her? That's new. Well, I don't really want to kill my concubine. That seems like a bit of an overreaction to the possibility that she may have cheated on me. I mean, not really. This is, um, Crusader Kings 2. And we will read Miwino the Quran, and then, really? Shit. He might not be the best intrigue character. Crap. Um. Hmm. Shit. I guess stewardship is the way to go for him then. Uh. I don't know, I mean, I... Shit. I was really hoping that we could go for Intrigue, but... Mmm... Roddy doesn't really help. Now, there's no guarantee that he will, in fact, end up being terrible at Intrigue. But... There's a good chance that he might. And from what I could tell, it doesn't seem like... Oh, maybe it's just because I haven't been, um... Trying out the uh, intrigue focus. Alright, I guess I could try this. And then maybe see if I can increase my uh, knowledge and in intrigue. But right now, I kind of like what I'm getting from my uh, stewardship. But you know what, let's give this a try. I've always wanted to know if it's possible to um, increase my level of knowledge in intrigue. Whoa. Okay. 
smallpox in my land. Thankfully, um, not crossing the water into Canarius itself. But uh, anyways, I've always wanted to see if I can increase my um, knowledge in intrigue by practicing spying on people and all that shit. I know it's easy enough to... Um, and let's spy on this guy. It's easy enough to increase your level of knowledge in martial by actively participating in wars and shit. But um, I kind of wonder if the same would be true for intrigue. And Muno has gained sympathy for Islam. All right. Well, that's that's great and all, but um, not exactly what I was looking for. We're John Enclave in Granada, and it looks like the Byzantines are actually coming in to um, try to reclaim their territory here, which is unacceptable. Your experience in matters of war has increased, and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. What will you focus on? Let's go with... What's my troop composition right now? I have a lot of heavy infantry. I think maybe going with heavy infantry focus might be a good idea. Or mastering flat terrain. Eh, let's just go with flat terrain. It's fine. If you manage to just completely annihilate them. Nice. And we're getting close, but not quite there yet with the rating. We might actually need to stick around to... Um, we lost our spy master. You might actually need to stick around to fully siege down those places. I don't know if I really want my concubine to be um, my spy master. I don't want to lose her. I also don't want to lose my half sister, who is again pregnant with my uncle's uh, baby. What the fuck? So we'll get my cousin to be my spy master instead. She seems to be decently happy with me. Me Wino. Fuck. You know what? Let's just go with Intrigue. Being an assassin is too, too amazing as a Merchant Republic. We can't let go of that. Let's just hope that he actually turns out to be uh, pretty good at his uh, education. I don't care who you are or know who you are. I know you're my daughter, but um, don't really care either way. The hospital in Canarius has seen an increase in the amount of people looking for food and sh shelter lately. It can barely provide the food required as it is. Perhaps this could be a good opportunity to make an impression. All right, sure. Alms and other supplies have been brought from uh, to the hospital. It will make the life much easier for those in need. The question now is how to present this extraordinary gift. Um. Oh, right. I've already done this recently. Right. No wonder it sounded so familiar. Or did I? I must have. Didn't I? I don't actually remember now. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, 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 I must have. I must have. Alright, well, um... Then let's just say that the creator made it possible. Gain some temple vassal opinion. And it seems like some dude in uh, Wales wants to sign a non-aggression pact with me. Absolutely not. Thank you very much. Because, uh, if we don't sign a non- If we sign a non-aggression pact, it means that you're no longer a uh, raiding candidate, so uh, we don't want that. Ugh. A daughter. Nothing wrong with a daughter, except in a merchant republic, they're not super, super useful. So, oh well. Okay, how close are we now? About there. About there. Just a little bit more. I think a couple more holdings and then we should be uh, ready to just move on. I have a nephew. A nephew. Um, let's give you a proper pirate name. How about... Here you go. Dingy Dog. That's a proper pirate name if there ever was one. Come on, guys. Oh, look at that. We're almost there. Almost j there. Just like 30 more ducats and then we're on the home stretch. I beg your unbelievable pardon? Wait, what's happening? Are you at war with someone? You better not be. Although, now that you're Andalusian, I have, uh, I'm definitely less interested in you. Alright guys, let's head on back home. Uh, dismiss our levy, and then go to war with the Mullahabids. Finally. And it seems that my kinswoman, or my cousin, is dead as shit. Probably died of the, uh... 
crazy amount of herpes that she has acquired. And my cousin is dead. Dying of poor health. This could only mean one thing. That I might have too many people in my uh, court. Not cool. Not of my dynasty. Alright, so who should we ask to leave? Who are you? You're my uh, courtier, who is apparently pregnant. Get the hell out of my court. Gertrude, also known as Kirsten Ritter, who was my um, former concubine. Also get out of my court. Thank you. Jamal, you are a commander. I'm going to keep you around. Luca? I don't understand why you're here. Get out of my court. Raisa. Oh, you're my uh, uncle's uh, former wife. Get out of my court. Sinisa, you are a commander that I asked you to uh, come to my court. I'll keep you around. Tadefi? What's your business? Get out of my court. Good grief, these people. Yeah, otherwise you guys I'll keep around. Um, can I take her on as a concubine at all? I know she's my half-sister, but... Come on. She's not even on my dynasty. Come on. You know you want to. But maybe not. Alright, well, let's go ahead and find some more genius concubines who are willing to uh, get with yours truly. Since we can't uh, bang my half-sister, I'm going to have to go with this lady instead. And you are not related to your liege, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Alright, let's just try to get her into my court the old-fashioned way. Uh, Tanner the Younger, or whatever. Who's not even on my dynasty? Intrigue, I guess. Can I ask him to just leave my court? No, unfortunately I can't just ask a little shits to, uh, get the fuck out of my lands. Right, miss? I want you to come to my court. Thank you very much. And we're going to demand monetary compensation for this guy. Or from this guy, rather. Not for him. And he is accepted! Nice. Hey, miss. Welcome to my court. Let's bang. Fantastic. Otherwise, Giselle is getting decently old. Roar of the Wilds is... Still not pregnant. What the hell, Roar? What's wrong? Why aren't we getting it on daily, nightly, and ever so rightly? Nice. That's a lot of money. Alright, let's go ahead and disband my troops. Whoa! I can raise 7,000! That's incredible! Hot diggity damn! Alright, you guys can stop being looters. Um, let's also dismiss my... I guess I don't really need to dismiss my boats. Uh, but we'll do it anyways. And then let's go to war with the Mulhabids. Holy war for Kyrenaica, bitch. Fantastic. He's only got 6,000. Let's hope that the Abbasids don't join in on the fight. Otherwise, things could get quite hairy quite quickly. Alright, in the meantime, everyone gather around. Uh, let's have you guys pick up my troops in uh, Canarius. And then... My daughter is apparently getting freaky with uh, somebody. You know what? Exposed. Who's your lover? Oh, that's your rival. I was like, wait. You're not a lesbian. You have no neck. On an unrelated note, but... Um, hmm. You know what? She actually kind of looks like uh, uh, Charlize Theron. If Charlize Theron had no neck. But, you know. Charlize Theron nonetheless. Ah, good grief, miss. Holy crap. Keep it together. Jeez Louise. Alright. Gather around, children. Let's go a uh, raiding. Uh, sorry, not raiding. No, no, I've, I've got uh, pirating on the mind too much. Let's go busting the kneecaps of the uh, Mulhabids. And they have some troops gathered. Some event spawn troops at that. Don't understand where they got those event spawn troops, but, um, anyways. Ralphie? Uh, Thrift, I think, is your bag? My friend. And Miwino, how's your education going? Temperate, brooding, rowdy. I don't know if these are good traits for a uh, an aspiring assassin. But, oh well. 
I guess Temperate is decently, uh, uh, decently decent for an assassin, but anyways. All right, bitch. My wife, sorry, not my wife. I didn't try to, I didn't, wasn't trying to call my wife a bitch. My wife, Ima, was captivated by the grace and strength of the hunting birds and begged me for a bird. Uh, let's give her a falcon. Nice. And it seems like he's coming in with 2,000 more troops. Fantastic. And he has been thoroughly kneecapped. My eyes and ears have discovered the bizarre and repulsive truth about High Priest Matar's sexual preferences. How should I use this juicy information? Let's publicly denounce him so that we can arrest him. And then hope that he actually... Can I just revoke his title? I can't. Well, I don't know what I can do to lower my chance of um, imprisoning him. But I guess we'll just keep him around for the time being. And Canarius is prospering. Fantastic. When can I get a new holding slot for Canarius, guys? I would really like a new holding slot for Canarius. Please and thank you. Yeah, we'll imprison you too. Don't worry about that. This guy, what's his problem? He's trying to kill this guy in order to uh, seize his lands. Good for you. But I don't really care. And we will go ahead and build ourselves a... Um... Catacombs increases monthly piety. Fair enough. But, uh... Let's see. Why don't we actually... Yeah, you know what? Let's go with the wine cellar. Build the catacombs. Increase my marshal. And in the meantime, we're just going to continue sieging down this place. My liege, my work in Marrakesh seems to have come to fruition. My, by bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and for, forging documents, I have managed to fabricate a claim on the theocracy of Marrakesh where are presently held by High Priest Matar. Yes. 1,859 ducats? That's insane. But we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Now I can revoke his uh, theocracy. Nice. Let's do it. Perfect. Um... Can I revoke that from you too? Or, uh... Or no? Because I don't really want to hold on to a theocracy. I suppose I could actually just try to build a city here. And then turn that into the capital. Um... Why not, I guess? That's a surer thing than just waiting for my, uh, Chancellor to try to fabricate a claim in the city of Marrakesh, right? Man, this guy is not happy. I've learned from my little birds that High Priest Matar plans to travel the realm incognito for a lark, mingling with the common folk. He will only be protected by two loyal friends during this little adventure, a great opportunity to have him abducted, if I so wished. Let's do it. Because he hates me. Um, the thugs I hired failed to capture High Priest Matar, though apparently they slew a guard and a servant in the attempt. Damn it. Damn, damn, damny damn. Well, that's unfortunate, but you know what, that's okay. And the reason why I'm trying to, uh, abduct him is because he hates me, so there's a chance that he might start a, um, not a faction, it's not a faction that I'm worried about, but he might start a plot against me and all that shit. Don't want that to happen, so I'm just gonna try to, uh, Imprison him. Church fortifications. Oh, in here, right? Well, that's great. We'll hold on to it for the time being. Actually, what I could do is I could turn this into the. Oh, I can't because it's a. Uh, it's not a city. I can only actually make a city my um, county capital. Interesting. All right. Well, that's the war with the Mulahabids. Fantastic, that was super easy. Thank you. And then we can go raiding again, which I think could be fun. I don't know about you guys. But let's go ahead and start giving away these uh, counties here. We'll have one that's not a merchant republic, but oh well. Whoever holds on to it can deal with that crap. So I think between the two... Kyraneka is probably a... Actually, no. Benghazi appears to be a much stronger um, place. Yes. 
more genius concubinos. I could just let go of Giselle. She's getting decently old. Tell her to bugger off and then have someone else join my court here. Someone who's much, much younger. You know what? Let's do it. Miss, come to my court. You know you want to. Um, because I still can't bang my half-sister. And then we'll just set Giselle aside. She's not pregnant, right? No, no, she's good. And then I can just straight up ask her to uh, leave my court. But we'll keep her around just in case. I don't know what the in case would be, but we'll keep her around nonetheless. Alright, so I think what we'll try to do in the next episode is we'll try to assassinate this little kid. Get him dead. So that there's a succession and then we can go to war with the Mullah Habit once again. Um, in the attempt to take Alexandria next. And then we'll just try to uh, continue to assassinate, take, assassinate, take and all that shit. But in between episodes, I will find some uh, suitable rulers for these uh, counties. And continue on from there. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.